everyone, today we use the four multiple four matrix keyboard to implement the function of inputting password and use ePROM to save the password. ePROM is short for Electrically Erasable Programmable Read Only Memory. That is, we change the value of ePROM by programming. Even if the power is off, the data won't be lost. e can only be erased 100,000 times and cannot be placed inside the lift body void loop. The e is only 1 kilobyte and has 512 addresses, which means we can save up to 512 values. And the size of each value does not exceed 255. This is the schematic of the matrix keyboard. You can find out each of the buttons is equivalent to a switch. When the button is pressed, the two ports will be set to 1. For example, when A is pressed, pin 8 and pin 1 will be set to 1. According to this rule, the values of the two ports can be converted into the values we want. The experimental effect is that the key A of the matrix keyboard represents setting password, key B represents inputting password, asterisk, cancel, pound sign, confirm, asterisk, and pound sign represents for cancelling and confirming only under the AB function. The button 1 to 9 represents the number 1 to 9. When A is pressed, enter setting up password. For example, if you enter 0123, the password is set to 123. When B is pressed, enter inputting password. The LED will be on if inputting correctly. The circuit connection is very simple. Just need to connect the 4 multiple 4 matrix keyboard with Arduino. Next is the part of the program. First, set up the array because the 4 multiple 4 matrix keyboard was used. These two values are both 4. Define a two-dimensional array. Row and column are 4. Set up the pin of the row and column of this line. The function keypad obtains the value of the matrix keyboard. Define a global variable to store the password. First, set up the board array. Set the pin 14 as output. Obtain the password saved from the zero of the e address. Obtain the button value. If it is A, set the password. If it is B, input the password. When we press the button A, enter the function of setting password. First, enter a loop. In this loop, it will continue to obtain the button value and to make a judgment on the button value. When the asterisk is pressed, the data will be reset. When pound sign is pressed, it will save the current value into the e and exit the loop. When B is pressed, enter the function of inputting password, then enter the loop as of button A. When we press pound sign, the current value will be compared with the value of e -prom. If succeed, the LED will be on and it will exit the loop. Well, the data will be reset. And this is all for the experiment. Thank you for watching.